right, everybody. Thanks for joining the channel. We're getting ready to head out to a quick trip to Yellowstone National Park. About four and a half, I think five hour drive. So I've got Rhonda with me, riding shotgun. Jordan and Hannah are in the back. Hello. There's Hannah. There's Jordy Bob. Both the boys are in Missouri for a short term missions trip. So they're gonna miss this one. But uh, hopefully we'll see a lot, of, a lot of great wildlife. Definitely see some awesome scenery up there. And we'll get on video for you guys. So thanks for coming along. Okay, everybody, we just entered Yellowstone National Park. We came in from the west entrance in West Yellowstone, Montana. We have crossed over into Wyoming. This is the Madison River. Love the amber color of this river this time of year. So the only thing we've seen so far from a wildlife standpoint is some Canadian geese, and then you just saw that duck that I jumped when I came down here to the river. What a great morning. It's supposed to rain this afternoon, so hopefully we'll uh, get a lot of time in before the rain comes. Hopefully we'll see something neat for you guys. Here's our first mammals of the trip, a bunch of buffaloes and baby calves. guys this is the top or the brink of Gibbons Falls look down there you see right where the water is going over the edge and then in just a second we'll come around and get you a view from the bottom side of the falls this is the Gibbons River down to the brink of the lower falls but you can see the upper falls the trees there and look at all that water coming off there I can't see her now. She's behind that the tall tree, the, the biggest tall tree. Yeah, or at least from my perspective, yeah. she is. I think I barely see her. Now she's coming out from behind it. Yeah. I 
So down right here in this so first flat, this so before this next hill, yeah. there's a dead tree and it's flat. It's just like there's a bit like this. Right, that's what it will do, but as soon as you're done, it's pretty close. I can't hold still. She probably has driven quite a bit. Right of it. Yeah, uh -huh. it's, it's kind of a cinnamon you color. I know it's hard. You gotta be. You can rest your elbows on your on your stomach a little bit, your chest. I see it. Oh, I felt the raindrop. She heard that horn. Yeah. You'll be, you'll be. You'll be. So much blacker oh, than the one we just saw. You were not there. All right, guys, we got Mammoth Hot Springs up behind us. You see the back side of it, the upper terrace. We got a little herd of elk here below us. Looks like all cows and calves. I don't see any bulls. They would still be early in velvet, but I don't see any, I don't see any bulls. Alright guys, this is Nymph Lake. This is between Mammoth Hot Springs and Norris Junction. So you see some of the geothermal activity over on the other side there. The steam's coming up. Here's a pot right here. You can probably hear all the cars going by. I'm just off the highway. That's one of the cool things about Yellowstone is there are a lot of amazing features that literally you can see from your car. And then if you have time to get off and hike into the backcountry, even more cool stuff. A couple of ducks swimming out in the lake, so if we can get them in focus here. Just dove. See the water boiling. You would not want to fall in there. Well guys, the weather can change up here fast. We had sunshine most of the day. It did turn to rain, which they called for rain, and you can see in my hand that's hail. I'd say that's a little bigger than pea-sized hail. It hailed really hard for about 
15 minutes and now it's past. Now it's just overcast, but you never know what you're going to get when you're in the Rockies. Alright guys, you probably noticed the topography is a lot different than the last couple scenes from our Yellowstone trip. My plan was to do the Minute on the Mountains uh, down in Grand Teton National Park. I was going to use the Tetons for my background. But on the last day of our Yellowstone trip, it rained nonstop. And you couldn't even see the Tetons. The storm had rolled in. And the Tetons are just behind a veil of clouds and mist. So anyway, it's, uh, it's several days later. We've already gotten back from our Yellowstone trip. I'm going to break that trip into two different videos, basically one for each day. But I'm on just a real quick shed hunt for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. So I thought I'd do the Minute on the Mountain. Um, it's from Joshua 14, beginning in verse 10. It's the story of Caleb. So earlier in Israel's story, when they sent 12 spies out to look at the Promised Land, only two of the spies wanted to go and take the land. One was Joshua, the other was Caleb. And in Joshua 14, Caleb comes back to Joshua and basically says, hey, after all these 45 years, I'm ready to take the land that God told us to take. I'm ready to take my share of it. He wanted to go take the hill country of, of Hebron. And he makes his comment that he's 85 years old, but he's as, as vigorous and as strong today as he was 45 years ago. And what I just love about Caleb is that he finished well. And so I want to talk about finishing today. You know, my son is going to be a senior in high school in the fall. Oh, just had a spill there. My son's going to be a senior in high school in the fall. And I want him to finish well. And I want to finish well with him. You know, the reality is my relationship with him is going to be different after he leaves the house. Obviously, I still hope we're close. I still hope he'll listen to me. But it's just going to be a different dynamic once he's out on his own. And so I want to finish well. I want to finish well with him this year. I've got a good friend of mine who's moving. He's nearing retirement age. And he talks a lot about finishing well. I've always respected that. I know he desires to finish well. I think that's important for all of us. You know, whether you're nearing retirement, or whether you've got a, a move coming up, whether you're just going to head into a different stage of life, I think it's important that we seek to finish well. So that's my encouragement. That's today's Been on the Mountain, Joshua 14.10. Take a look at that when you have some time. Hopefully we'll find something today. If we do, it'll be on a different video uh, because this will wrap up the Yellowstone video. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.